Hey, what's up everybody? Ed here. Usually at this time of day in the afternoon, I'm so buried in the news. You know, I wake up in the first thing in the morning and I wonder, are we at war yet? Are we still a country? Has the economy collapsed? Have, have You know, what's going on in the world? And it takes me, you know, several hours to to get away from that and get into anything enjoyable. But last night, I was watching a a stream where they had this First Amendment auditor, and we call them frauditors, where they go around and they, they audit places like post offices and and city halls and police stations, and, and it's just insane stuff. I'm, I'm actually getting kind of bored with it because it's the same dumbasses over and over and over. And the thing is, is that they're, they're raking in, making a fortune, you know, on YouTube. But they had this guy in who, who was so freaking stupid and they humiliated him so badly that they finally, they ended the stream and this guy had started his own stream to try to, you know, defend his ignorance. And so I went live and tried to bait him into a debate. And I don't know how this happened. But I ended up in my live stream because it wasn't. I ended up in my live stream with DKG Customs. I don't believe this shit, man. I, you know, we're going to deal with this guy quickly. Hello? This is a courtesy call for AT&T and DirecTV customers. We have All day long. So, hello. Hi, this is Kevin from No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's like Dinesh or Abdul or, or you know, Hajimoto. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you're, you're not whoever you said you were, and you're not from where you say you're from. So, fess up and tell the truth. So, I'm... I'm Talking with Duncan, and over in the side chat, who appears? Dr. Groovy. So I post the link. Eureka. Dr. Groovy comes into my live feed. And we had a chat. And I am proudly to say that I know of the first one to get Scott into a live stream on YouTube. And we talked for quite a while. Duncan finally went to bed because it was 7 a.m. in the UK and he had to turn in. It was getting to be 3 o'clock for me. It was a midnight for Dr. Groovy. And we finally ended it. And because of my ignorance, the stream ran for another 7 hours while I was asleep. So I woke up this morning and it was still going on live and it was a 10 hour live stream. Well, I, I, I finally figured out how to shut it down out of StreamYard and I shut it down and the stream is so long that YouTube won't let me edit it. So what I've done is I have downloaded parts of it and I will present these in parts. So for your edification and amusement, for your enjoyment, here is... DKG Customs, me, and the star of the show, and I was so just so happy to see him. And it, it gets a little weird. It gets a little weird, but Doctor Groovy, and here here is his is some of our interaction. I hope you enjoy this. Hit the like button, subscribe, do whatever. Uh, be nice. All right, be nice. Okay, here it is. <laughs> We're having a reverb off. All right. All right. <laughs> there he is. Yes. Wait. Oh, Linda. my God. Linda. Linda. A little bit, a little bit of cum just came out my penis. <laughs> What's happening, Jess? Hey. It's the dog. Scott, you got, you got to mute something, Scott. Oh, I've never done it before. Linda, look, it's Dr. Groovy 
too much. Uh, get get over into camera. Get it. Get into camera, Linda. There you go. Oh, hey, Linda, Linda, how you doing? I moved it. There he is. <laughs> the bearded one. The bearded guru. The man, the majesty, the bear. Oh, look, she's, pulling, she's pulling her filter out of her, her neck. But she's going to show you her throat hole. I don't need to do that. The goiter. The, the goiter? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so how do I make this stop echoing? Uh, you. I think you did. Oh, did I? Yeah, you're not doing it now. So you're good. Uh, okay. Dr. Groovy, I, you moved from Mesquite. And where are you located now? Oh, I'm, I'm still in Mesquite. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. I, I remember your, your studio had so many guitars and they were like all Gibsons and Les Pauls. And then all of a sudden they were all something else. And all of a sudden <laughs> they were all something else. And and I, 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 I've always wanted to ask you, it, were, were you like buying and selling collections or is, is, is that okay, Linda? Thanks, sweetheart. Um, I would have, uh... I was actually just uh, getting all the crap that I always thought I wanted, and then I would realize I didn't want any of that shit, <laughs> and then sell it all off to buy crap I would actually use on stage if I ever get to be on stage again. Wow, that that are are you still going to be buried with the Paisley guitar? Uh, the pink one's going down with me. Yeah, <laughs> it's going down with you. How old is that guitar? Uh, it's a eighty eighty five or eighty six. You know, you you were one of the guys that that it's uh, Japanese. Uh. I love Japanese fenders. I own a yeah. Japanese fender. It is one of my prized possessions. I I don't have anything really near, you know, what you got. It, everything I own, I play. I, I I play my guitars. I play my stuff. Some of the stuff you have is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the the uh, but you are one of the guys that I got so excited when you talked about PV. And the USA PV stuff because when I couldn't afford a Fender or a Gibson, I bought a 1979 PV T60. Oh, and then, wow. I, then I got hooked on the Falcons with the Kaler. Oh yeah. And and I and, and the I have Predators one of those still. and and the Predators and I love those guitars and I I used to I used to argue with my buddies like. This guitar blows your fucking strat away, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I it, still it have smokes one your fucking and, strat. Yeah, and, I and, still have one Predator and one Falcon left. And 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 not to say that, you know, the strats weren't good. I mean, they, they you know, there were some great freaking strats out there. Sure. Uh, I'm playing, actually, my main stage guitar right now. I bought Linda and I. Uh, Is it that cream butter, one? The cream color. Pretty much butterish. Yeah, I we bought the player series, you know, eight hundred bucks, a jazz bass, and I bought a strat, and it's got the two point pivot tremolo, and uh -huh. it that's my stage guitar now, and you know, it was only eight hundred bucks, but I know how to set it up, I know how to make it work, and partially thanks to you. And so, you know, I'll put that guitar up against any guitar through a Fender's Blues Jr. or a nice oh, clean bet. tone and, and some some pedals and, you know. Off to the and, races, and yeah. I, I still 
make my band play a lot of old country stuff. Good. And they, they're, <laughs> they're good with it. You know, they don't complain. But you Emph- the Emphasis only... on the cunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get that all the time. You know? I, I get the look from Linda, like the cross eyes, and what the fuck are you doing now? But <laughs> Scott is the guy that contributed at my age more to my realizing I know how to do this. I just didn't know how to do it. I I know how to do that. You'll do stuff. And it's like, I asked you that one time, where do you come up with this shit? I knew how to do that, but I, I just don't realize that I know it. I get caught in that same trap all the time. (laughs) Unbelievable. I, I watch on YouTube and I look for stuff to bastardize from other people just so I'll have something new to teach. And it's like, well, let me take that and turn it into something. It's like, well, God damn it, I already knew how to play that. Just didn't realize I knew it. For me, the good days of guitar channels is gone. It, yeah. it, it was cool. It was cool at the beginning. Well, you're still, you're still sub to mine, aren't you, Ed? What? <laughs> you're still sub to me, aren't you? Not that, not that I've done anything for like five years, but yeah, yeah you're still sub I'm to still, me. I'm, I'm still yeah, sub of to course. You. <laughs> but uh, I, I just, you don't know how thrilled I am to have you here talking I to will, me right now. Oh, I've, hell, dude. I, I, I've got a million questions to ask you, but fuck that. I'd rather just bullshit. Hell, whatever you want to do, Al. You know, uh, uh, do you still have all that? I remember your garage was packed with PA gear. Oh, yeah. Still? Yeah. Hell, let me see. Oh, get my... <laughs> I'm laying here in my spare bedroom. I imagine over the years the cars have had to get smaller and smaller just to, oh, just to accommodate crown. all the gear. <laughs> Look at all that stuff. Look at all that stuff. Much, uh, let's see. Would would you say there's a million dollars in there? Um not anymore. There used to be. Now I'm Broke. <laughs> it's Broke. Time, I'm, time to start selling shit off and guitar rich, guitar rich, and cash poor. I know what it's like. Anybody need some powered PA heads? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can tell you about a whole bunch of secret cabinets. This way. Well, folks, right there are some groovy speaker cabinets. There's some groovy speaker cabinets. Hey, Johnny Kramer, how's it going? Frog Snake, how you doing? John Landino. What's that, a hot water heater? Uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at, are those powered cabinets or not? They're all passive. Passive. Uh, how I, can, I don't know how to go which way is backward, which way is forward. <laughs> That's all right. We see it. Here's a bunch of racks and stuff. They're all completely full. Have you been doing any gigs? Um, barely. COVID knock you out? No. Uh, just can't find anybody with a fucking band to play with on Vegas. Of all towns. You know, you call it the, you know, everybody calls it the entertainment capital of the world. It's like, ain't no damn place for me to entertain nobody. <laughs> Well, you know, you got to find a bunch of old guys, I guess. I I know. 
Everybody's into the weird ass shit, you know. Yes, they are. It, it's that I'm having the same problem. It the uh So Doc, you not got into not got into techno again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just gotta get on her. Hey, it's Bruce. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take no, take no, take no. There you go. Oh, that's, that's, that's about 20 years ago, actually, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, new Old stuff is new to me still. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Anything, yeah. I think it's past the 90s or past, well, early 90s, I guess, is when everything started going to shit, as far as I'm concerned, you know, music wise. Hey, I'll I tell, I tell you something, Doc. Uh, my my dad in his later years, before uh, you know, he's he's about seventy years old. It's about, it's about you know, like uh -huh. twenty years twenty years ago. He said to me, "Oh, I, d I don't like that modern stuff, you know, like the Beatles." Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that you want to hear? You want to hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's but, like 20, 20 years ago. <laughs> I know. I I'm into the like I said, Doctor Groovy. You know, does the stuff on old. Uh, Hi, Linda. Uh oh, what, what, Linda? Tell him I'm happy he likes heart key amps. Uh oh, did you <laughs> say you liked heart key amps? Oh, good lord, she must. Have... Well, she swapped out all her amp pegs, and she didn't swap them out. We moved them to the garage, and now she's oh. playing through heart key. Well, well it's, she's got it's, a it's... 500 watt, 500 watt heart key with. Uh, four tens and then the four eights or some shit. I don't know. This is this is the real. This is the real. Uh, this is the real uh, I saw him it's playing. Wait, I couldn't read it. Give it to me. I saw him hey, playing Linda. through them. He's gonna show you. He's gonna show you, Linda. Okay, let's see. Um, here's there you go. Oh, that's a big one. I have a big one. Yeah. Let's see, even more. Big rig. Wow. I I yeah. love the uh There's what, are they, what are they rig over there? Neodymium or aluminum or something speakers. Yeah. So yeah. And then we got the four or fives up on top. We then, we actually we bought a little fifty watt uh like practice amp for her and and uh that the she really liked it so then we got a 75 watt one and then she goes fuck it man i want to play through one of these so we bought a 500 watt one and that's her that's stage amp yeah. uh, and then i got my uh one of those tilt back car keys lean back no, hers is hers is on wheels. Hers is on oh, wheels. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got for my practice one. I've got a one that's kind of looks like it's built in a monitor wedge, but it's got a twelve antenna. Yeah. Come on, let's face yeah. it. At our age, everything's on fucking wheels. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's nothing that's twelve inches. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> So how the hell are you guys? It's good to hear everybody's actual voices in a real time situation. It is. It's great, and I I always get excited when you you comment back to me when when I you know I leave a comment and you comment back. I was I always get a kick. Uh, like I said, you're you're my you're my guitar guru <laughs> when it when it comes to and, uh, and kind man. Yeah, I'm I'm gob I'm gobsmacked. I was just doing my last little yeah. little, little little check around the internet before I go we've to bed. Waited, oh, we waited we waited for years to get you <laughs> in the chat. Oh, how funny. I remember I remember when you were skinny. <laughs> And, and, and I, I, I remember, I remember when you you were fat when, shit, when I was skinny too. When I was skinny <laughs> too, but it ain't no more. On Monday, I went to the doctor, and the very first thing he came in after the little piddly ass person that takes your vitals, he goes, So, Mr. Grove, uh, do you know that you're obese? 
Well, they, he no, told my yeah. doctor told me <laughs> I thought I was, I was Greek. I was, <laughs> I was abdominally. You, know, you can't see your dick when you suck it in, you know. Then it's like, yeah, yeah I must be. <laughs> my my doctor told me I was abdominally obese, and I said, did we really have to put it? Did we have to put it that way? Could we have just have said, you know, overweight or fat or right. you know, did? Did you have to say obese? I mean, Jesus Christ, know, you know. I know he had to come out with that word other than, you know, you could you lose a few. You he could know. lose a few. Yeah. And, and so today I, I went and got blood work done today because I got to go to the doctor for, oh, and I, I don't even do know why now. I'm going. I don't even know why I'm going because I like went a couple months ago. But he wants to check up on me and he called me up and he goes, your sodium is low. And I'm like, what the fuck? And he goes, well, limit your water intake to 64 ounces. And I'm like, who what? the fuck drinks 64 ounces of fucking water? Oh, wait, I'm drinking 75 ounces of beer every night. Okay, that <laughs> might have something to do with it. Okay, well, I started stir frying all, a, a lot of our food, and I've cut out salt. And, and I talked to the nurse, and the nurse goes, this is so minuscule and trivial she goes if your salt gets low drink some gatorade and i'm like gatorade what, what, the, what the fuck gatorade all right well i got gatorade in the refrigerator you know i can drink that if i want but i don't know it you sucks know what would make old. more sense to me for you would be to actually start drinking tequila 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 yeah, do the salt tequila Salt intake, you know. <laughs> Mezcal. Yeah. Stands to reason, don't it? It works for me, dude. I. <laughs> you can't live forever, and, and you uh, know. Who wants to? <laughs> I want to spend it. I want to spend it all before I'm dead. So. Uh, that's that's where I'm honestly at. I, it's uh. It's spent. Well, there's a what was that song? I know what the song is. Uh, Johnny you can't Cash. take it with you when you die. <laughs> it was that Johnny Cash song, "Hurt." Oh, I hurt myself he, today. Yeah. And See if I can about, still feel. Yeah, something about uh, his empire of dirt, meaning just all his collection of shit. Yeah. That's honestly where I'm at right now. It's like bank accounts right at like 10 grand. And the only funds that are ever going to come in again, other than the wife's um, uh, retirement, is going to be from me selling off my shit. So that's where well, it's at. It finally got to that I, point, I, you know, so. Aren't you, aren't you getting anything from YouTube? Um, about 300 a month. Okay. Yeah, there's only about, what is it, maybe 1,500, 2,000 people that tend to visit when a new video comes out, you know, within like the first week or something like that. The right and video, other than that, video. I don't know where the other 124,000 subscribers are. Yeah, it's, exactly. not, it's, not, like, it's not like the old days, is it? I know. Oh, no, it, that's where they all came from was the old days. They just wanted to see. Some bi bipolar motherfucker explode. <laughs> yeah, they, they they loved the they loved the drama back in the days. So they loved no, the drama. Well, yeah, I didn't have a handle on myself, let alone did I have any uh, business being on here. You know, I was just trying to figure myself out, let alone you know. But I, 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 I've I've <laughs> I've got to I've got to say, it is far. As learning from somebody, I've learned more from you. And I, I, I don't know how old you are, Scott, but I'm 62. Yeah, I'm 57. Okay. So like you are older 82. than me. And I, I'm glad that I'm learning from someone or older. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad I'm learning, I'm learning from an elder. I yeah, have I learned more from you. <laughs> No, I've learned more from you than anybody else on YouTube. And uh, it's it's because you are showing the stuff that I like. 
Right. You, you know, I learned how to sweet pick because that's what was on YouTube at the time. Yeah. You know? And, and, and I was like, well, what am I going to fucking do with this? How am I going to throw this in the Folsom prison? You're not. <laughs> you know, and if you do, you're an idiot. And, oh, and, I know. And th there was a little... No, you could probably you could probably still sweet pick, can't you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have I have no idea how to do it. But there's yeah. a little riff that was just I, I have no idea how to do it. That I got from you that was a little train sound. Yeah. That like changed the whole presentation for me. Once I started throwing that little lick into the song. It changed the whole dynamic of the performance. It it made it, it was I was able to go, and I hear that whistle blowing, and it changed the whole dynamic of what I was doing on stage, and right. nobody else picked up on it, but yeah. I knew, but exactly. I knew, and and they didn't know they were picking up on it, but it uh -huh. just made it so much better, and. Some and of that, the that gets stuff. your head. That gets your head in a whole different space. You know, it's like you're running on a different gear. It's like, okay, now this can be used for God a zillion things tonight. Now, <laughs> yeah, it, yes, you know? and, and I tend to do that. I learn a lick, and it shows right. up freaking everywhere. It, exactly. It's like, I play yeah. every place. Okay, I got this new lick. You yeah. know, it, you bet. And, uh, it's hard to sell old country where I'm at, but we do a set of it. So we will okay. do a set of like what, pop music or or classic rock. Then I'll no. do a set of country that'll have some Toby Keith and some some uh uh who's Kenny Chesney or whatever. But uh -huh. then we'll do Johnny Cash and we'll do some old stuff. And, and throw those licks in like Tennessee whiskey. I got all my Tennessee whiskey licks from you, even though you didn't teach Tennessee whiskey that I can right. remember. But yeah. the licks you taught, I threw into Tennessee whiskey. So that changed that whole freaking tune. Now, so you, are you doing the original one? No, no I'm doing a bastardized. I'm doing a bastardized version of uh, it came. Unfortunately, the singer in our band at 58 years old had a heart attack and died. And Dude. he sang the song. And we were doing the, the Chris, uh, what's his name? Stapleton. Uh, the new guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris Stapleton. Yeah, Chris Stapleton version. We were doing that. But I was throwing that bend lick in there. Right. It, and so now I have to sing it, which is no big deal. He was a better singer than me, but I sing it now and it goes over okay. When did but, he pass away? Uh, How long has that been? Six months. Wow. Uh, he passed away, actually, I think it was September. And it was, it was out of the blue. It, it, it was, they went... They, they, him and his wife. We lived near Cleveland, Ohio, and he, they went mm -hmm. somewhere, and they, they're vegan. Him and his wife are vegan, and well, they stop. Yeah, I eat meat. <laughs> sorry, I'm doing my part. You know, I'm eating the cows that eat the grass, but you bet. The, and, the, and cock. It, yeah. <laughs> Don't they it. went. They went out to dinner and came home, and from what his wife told me, she goes. He came in the house and he was walking towards the bedroom and he turned around in the hallway and grabbed his chest and said, Jeannie, call an ambulance. She goes, what's wrong? He goes, something's wrong. She goes, is it what you ate? He goes, no, I think it's my heart. She helped him to the couch and he died. Wow. And, and it was a heart. Boom. I Yeah, I guess it exploded or whatever. And, uh, it it was yeah. like it was like a what the hell moment, you know? Why 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 is this I'm my fat ass down again? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know how you feel, you know. But 
Anyway, the guitar licks, they changed the whole dynamic of what I was doing. And it's like, I knew this, <laughs> but why didn't I know that I knew this? And it, it's really weird. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling that, that it's like, I know how to do this, but somebody needed to point it out to me. Yeah. And, and that's what you do. And that, that's, oh, that's what awesome, your man. Is do for me. All right, that's it. it. There was a lot more to that live feed, and I'll I'll go through it to see, you know, if maybe I'll post more. But just I want to thank Scott and Duncan for uh, <laughs> making last night a really unique experience. I, I've waited forever for that, and it you know it happened. So I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed. It. You you can see I was babbling like a freaking idiot. I was so giddy and beside myself to get Scott into a stream. So. That being said, all right, everybody, like I said, be good, be nice, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one.